We're gonna cut these mufflers right off. This thing's gonna be real loud. What's going on everyone? Ratchet Wrench is back with another video today. No, we haven't filmed this car in a while, but we're back with the new Edge content, the 2002 Mustang GT. So we got something really exciting for you guys today. We're going to cut these mufflers right off and make this thing super loud. It is pretty loud as it is. If you're new to the channel and don't know, it's got pretty much a full exhaust system and some engine mods up front. So we'll link some videos up here and in the description below for you to check those out. But yeah, we're going to cut these mufflers right off and do it the right way. We're not just going to leave the axle back off and have it dangling down. We're going to go to our local auto parts store, get the correct piping, and clamp it all on. So it's pretty much just going to be straight piped out with an X pipe and no cat. So this thing's going to be stupid loud. It's going to be so much fun to drive. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So if you guys don't know what this sounds like, I'm going to start it up. Let's get right to it. So he's just going to do some uh, drive-bys right now so you can hear what it sounds like with the long tube headers and the uncatted um, X-pipe. That thing sounds amazing. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting new edge content, so we're gonna provide you with some uh, some Mustang content. We have the Turbo Miata, which is actually on hold right now. We have the Stage 2 GTI, we have a Dodge Ram, and of course we have our 500 horsepower F-150 EcoBoost, but today we're gonna to provide you with some new edge content. So as you can tell from, hopefully the bike picked up pretty good. This thing, it's got a nice purr to it, but we're gonna make it a little more raspy and loud today. So we're gonna pull it in the garage, jack it up, and start this process. Let's do it. So as you can see, the car's up in the air. I'm on the ground. We have our uncatted X-pipe, and then we have our muffler, which is connected by a flange. So we're gonna have to cut this flange down. We'll get out of the car, and we'll cut it off the car. Um, and then we'll pretty much put a straight pipe, which will replace that muffler, and then it clamps onto the part that goes to the tailpipe. So we just have to do some cutting on this side and clamping, and this is really it. So we're gonna right now just take this whole um, muffler out and then we'll show you more so you can see it visually outside the car. Passenger side is out right here. This connects to the um, X pipe, or if you're stock, it'd be H pipe. But so we're, what we're gonna do is pretty much cut here and then buy a pipe that will Depending on the size of the pipes that the auto parts store offers, that will determine our cut. But we're going to cut it and then clamp it to that. And then this, luckily, is clamped to the, um, the axle back. So we're going to have to find probably two 90s or something. Something to recreate this and have them meet here. But yeah, this is a really easy thing. We're just hoping that the auto parts store has the parts we need. Otherwise, we're going to have to drive around and find, find other places. But this was the passenger side. Now it's time to get the driver's side. Then we'll be on our on our way. You gotta love creepers for being so diverse, you know? So many different functions. Driver's side is out. Obviously we got different kind of bends. So this one we wanna cut before the bend because if we ever do wanna put these back on the car, we are gonna wanna put a sleeve over it like this and clamp it and on bends it just makes it a little more difficult. So we'll make this bad boy work. We're gonna take it to um, the auto parts store now and figure it out. We ran into a little bit of a problem. We went to two auto parts stores and they didn't have the right angles of the uh, piping. And of course, uh, I'm not very good at welding. never really attempted, so 
In the meantime, we're just gonna do what we said we weren't gonna do, but with what everyone else does, except this one actually has long tube headers, not that it really matters with sound, but we just disconnected the flange, where if you have a stock H pipe would be, or the X pipe, which we have. So these right here, we just kind of rigged them up, so just tie them off because they're loose, free flowing, obviously because they're not connected to the muffler. But yeah, we're gonna pretty much drive it around. It is technically straight pipe. The same it would be if we just connected pipes and ran it to the back. Yeah, it might have a little different sounding because it's coming out the rear, but this is gonna be um, dumped probably like right around here. You are gonna get the drone. So I don't recommend this for a long period of time, especially if you do a lot of highway driving. We did the Ratchaway and we're just gonna have some fun with it. So we got the car back on the ground. We're gonna start off for the first time. This thing's gonna be real loud. the parts like yeah we improvise well boys I hope you bite your earmuffs because this is uh this is fucking loud it's gonna it's literally probably right behind our seat This drone is gonna be terrible. Yeah, I already, let's I already know it. Where we're going. All right, let's do it. Bad. Hope I don't scrape too bad. We gotta do it right, but we're just gonna enjoy it, have some fun, and hopefully you guys enjoy this content. But we gotta do it right. An eighth of a throttle, not even like. Yeah, just wait. I just not even easing into it yet. This is crazy. We'll get into it a little bit here. So those were our driving reactions. Holy shit, this thing screams. It's just stupid loud. But now we're gonna get a few revs in since we're at this open park and then a few little slow flybys. And once we hit the road, we're gonna maybe light them up or something. A little so. ratchet. <laughs>
think he likes it enough that if we uh, have it come out the back, I think he'll keep it this way. Custom tune. It's all a little bit of a, some tuning by uh, Bama performance. <laughs> by Bam Margera, Bam <laughs> and of performance. Of course, he does look like Bam Margera, yeah. a young Bam Margera. Which we put the two step at like uh, 35. 35. Start with 35. Yeah, do 35 for the two step. Yeah. Keep the sparks the same. It's crazy how you can literally tune this whole car pretty much right there. Yeah. That little guy. We just threw a um, rev limiter basically on the car at 3,500 RPM. So in theory, when I go to rev it in neutral, it should cut off at 3,500 and kind of give like that two-step sound to it. So we'll see if it actually works. <laughs> I don't know if you could see these marks, but if you haven't seen our uh, 2020 Challenger RT, yeah, those are the uh, the aftermath of it. Yeah, that thing yeah. rips, dude. Yeah, the 2020 Challenger was uh, was taken by surprise by how much that thing really. Yeah, ripped. stock too. It was crazy. Stock, but yeah. We had a Karen that disrupted us, but uh, back at it. <laughs> Swing it. I think I did all right, but then I lost a little bit. Uh, it was definitely uh, funny to watch. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Overall, what do you think? I like it when you're cruising at like low RPMs like this, but when you get on it, it's just it's so rowdy. And if you're not that rowdy kind of person, you're not gonna like it. We got our boy Tyler in the house. Yeah, that I, thing is obnoxious. I think I can hear that from my house. You probably can. <laughs> that is crazy, dude. Your car's looking good, bro. Oh, you got yeah. some new rims. If you haven't seen this car on the channel, it'll yes, come sir. soon. Yeah, bro.
Alright guys, so that's a wrap for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of fun ripping this thing around. It is stupid loud. Sounds good idling and low cruising speeds, but when you get on it, it just it's freaking crazy. It's rowdy. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um we're gonna look online to do it correctly in case I want to keep the setup and then uh, we can show you that in a later video. But I definitely want to do cam for this. I know you guys want to see camshafts put in this new edge here, so I just gotta save up a little more money and then I think we're gonna dive into it. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. Until next time, peace.